Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're now the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. This week we go to Curve for opening week of The Entertainer, starring Shane Ritchie. And I take no joy in telling you that this show is flawed for several reasons. One, tickets are very expensive. Two, it's a play that's outdated. And three, unfortunately, it's not done very well. Here's the problem. We don't get to see the star of the show, Archie Rice, as a star, so therefore we have nothing to compare. The show begins with him being a failure and ends with him being an even bigger failure, so the heart is lost. Most importantly, the show just drags. It doesn't seem to have any heart or momentum and just becomes repetitive, and I can't understand why. In the film, it's based decades before this production, which is in the 80s, but for what reason? They say there's no business left in show. However, the clubs were still thriving in the 80s. TV was still thriving in the 80s. Show business was doing very well. It wasn't until the 90s that the clubs closed. So it's hard to understand why this show is set when it is. Scenes that are heart-renderingly sad in the film are not brought to life on stage. Equally, the fact that Archie is one of the most promiscuous showbiz types that sleeps around is also not brought to life on stage, so we don't hate him for that either. Also, here's the problem. Shane Ritchie is one of my favourite entertainers. I've loved him for 25 years. He was one of the first stars I ever saw in the West End in Greece, and I fell in love with him as an artist. Since then, I followed him across his career, across tours in the UK, West End, on TV and of course even pantomime last year I saw him in Milton Keynes where he was five star fabulous for some reason the electric is gone in this piece also he's too nice to make it horrible so we don't hate Archie which you need to do in this piece so for me the whole thing is flawed from beginning to end technically the show's a mess the sound isn't loud enough in places and it's too loud in others the set is relatively boring it doesn't change the front of cloth stuff we just must talk about this and as a guy who toured with Ken Dodd for 20 years the greatest front of cloth comedian they missed a massive opportunity to bring the show alive during those moments these should have been electric front of cloth comedians would have played with the audience joyously. They should have given him a script where he could have been magnificent in the beginning and instead the audience didn't know whether to laugh or cringe. So we just ended up with non-stop occasional titters. There wasn't one laugh in the entire show. And in 20 years of reviewing theatre, I've never seen such an anticlimax where the curtain falls for the final time and nothing happens. The audience sat there until it came up again. They didn't even know the show had ended. It's just a mess and it's a shame because you've got a stunning cast. Let me give kudos to Dana Vickers, who probably works the hardest other than Shane in the show theatrically. She once again proves she's a wonderful actress of her generation. There's also Sarah Crow, who plays the beleaguered wife of Archie. And Billy Rice, Shane's dad in the piece, is played by Pip Donahue, who is great. It's a shame. This show could have been amazing. To me, it's outdated. Of course, the themes of racism, sexism, misogyny and all of that stuff is either to your taste or not. The problem is with 2019 and this binary world we live in, people do not know whether to laugh or stay quiet. And it somehow does not work. Shane cleverly channels a bit of Bernard Manning and Jim Davidson in the 70s, but again, we're trained now not to laugh at this stuff, so again, it's flawed. I wanted to love this, and I didn't. Honestly, for the price, it's getting into the £40 mark for some theatres on this tour. Truly, save your money and go and see Shane in pantomime in Bristol this Christmas, because it's a masterclass of a true entertainer. This play, sadly, is not. On the website, they say this play is said to be hilarious and heartbreaking. For me, it was neither. And that's a true disappointment and a waste of a magnificent cast and a film that is much loved and has been replicated on stage by so many legends. You've been listening to another disappointing review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.